We're seeing some much needed showers make their way through part of the region, but even with that, it's still very hot outside for pretty much all of us. But a closer look into Missouri, we're seeing some of those showers over Wayne County, kind of near Poplar Bluff, just north of there. No lightning associated with this, no severe weather either, so that is some good news. But most of us are still dry, especially in Illinois, Kentucky, and Tennessee as well. So if you have any evening plans, for most of us, this is what it looks like. We've got lots of clouds. It looks really nice outside, but it is still very warm. Don't let it fool you. 90 degrees in Poplar Bluff. That humidity is still a bit on the warmer side and temperatures across the board and heat indices are still pretty high. So heat index across the region, uh, somewhere in those upper 90s. We have Cape Girardeau at 97 along with Marion and Mount Vernon. So still a bit warmer than our temperatures in those lower to upper, excuse me, lower to mid 90s. But overall, it's going to be another hot evening for us, at least for the last day of summer into tonight. We'll dip down into those 70s right before midnight. We do see clouds slowly begin to build as we're seeing right now this evening that, uh, ahead of our next system. Some isolated showers expected tonight. So threat tracker still fairly low with tomorrow. Those scattered showers really start to pick up and those cooler temperatures finally arrive tomorrow and they stick around for a decent amount of time. Hopefully I know I'm over this heat. We've seen record heat today and yesterday, but there's that cold front just off to our north. It'll start making its way into our region. But again, we've been seeing record heat the past couple of days, especially in Paducah, 100 degrees on Tuesday, 100 today, breaking both of their old records, both set in 19. 40, but there is that cold front. It's quickly approaching the region pretty fast moving. We see temperatures tonight in those 80s behind it, though. Finally, some cooler air is expected. Clouds kind of sticking around again because of that rain. We see the rain around 6 a.m. just off to our west. It'll quickly make its way in as well, especially over Missouri, but those temperatures are much nicer. We're still in those 60s at 9 a.m. Uh, by lunchtime in the 70s. Heat of the day still in the 70s, really not getting too high out of that scattered to isolated showers in the evening as well. So the first day of fall will definitely feel like fall compared to what we've been seeing. So this afternoon, our high was about 98, but by Friday morning, we're looking at 48 degrees. So if you weren't a fan of the heat, then I've got some good news for you. But download that Storm Track 3 app. It'll be great to have because we do have some rain chances on the board. Scattered showers expected tomorrow. Temperatures down into those low 70s. More showers expected this weekend with some isolated chance. I wouldn't cancel any of my plans over it quite yet, but look at those temperatures. They're going to be so nice just in time for the first day of fall tomorrow. We've got 70s on the board along with some 80s, so I know I'm definitely going to enjoy that. 47 to 48 degrees on Friday. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. That is yeah, but still, that's a huge swing from this week in the 90s and then yeah. to just wake up and it's 40-something outside. That's crazy. Oh, not prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. The federal